Hello Nancy, so this is all clear number two. In ages, in a long, long time, when people have not done something in ages, it means that the last time they did something was a long time ago. When you use this expression, you are not stating a specific time in the past. If you want to be specific, you can say in two years, since 2005, instead of in ages. In ages, only in negative sentences and with a present perfect tense. So, how stony is his days? I don't know. I haven't seen him in ages. Okay. Or we can also use it like it's been ages. Okay, it's been ages, not in ages, but it's been ages. Okay. So after someone has said, I haven't seen you in ages, it's common to follow the expression with with a question, how are you? Or you look great, oh you look fantastic, oh my god. Jim, I haven't seen you in ages. How are you? Pretty good. It's great to see you. What's new with you? So that is done from the previous uh, video. Okay, so uh, you can check the video I sent you um, yesterday. Um, and I'll just go back to four ages. Four ages is four. Absolutely, we use for a long time. We've been sitting here for ages. When are we going to have a break? For ages shows duration, so a period of time, and it means that something lasts or continues for a long time. When you use this expression, you are not giving a specific amount of time. If you want to be specific, you can say for two hours or since nine o'clock instead of four ages. It's like we've been sitting here since, you know, uh, ten, nine o'clock, okay? Uh, We've been sitting here for two hours. You can use forages in both negative and affirmative sentences with different verb tenses. So we're not limited here. With ages, yes, negative and is uh, the present perfect. Okay. So you can use forages, okay? So you've been on the phone for ages. It's time to get off. Sorry, we're late. We were in traffic for ages. So that means, you know, we are a tiny bit more flexible with this kind of, uh, you know, expression. Catch up. So be careful here. Catch up on something and catch up with someone. Get information or do something that so you are now up to date, current, updated, not behind. Do something that you have postponed, rescheduled, uh, you know, for another day. Caught is a past. You can catch up on the following, the news about the world, news about someone you know personally. What's new, your homework, sleep, etc. Hi, Katie, I haven't talked to you in a long time. How's everything? Oh, I've been so busy, you can't imagine. I got a new job and I'm moving next month, but I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. Why don't we meet for coffee so we can catch up? I want to know all about you, too. I was on vacation for two weeks, and now I have to catch up on my mail, my email, my, ho my housework, my homework, and everyone's news. She's going to see her, whole, uh, sorry, her old friend on Saturday, and they're going to catch up on what's new. When I had the flu, I didn't do my any homework, but when I felt better, I caught up on everything. That's a pass. It's done already. Catch up with someone, come from behind and join or reach someone ahead in front of you. It's like you think of the race, you know, you're behind everyone and you can catch up on everyone. <laughs> so with everyone, sorry. So where is Eric? He just left to take the dog for a walk, hurry, and maybe you'll catch up with him. At the beginning of the race, John was ahead in front, but after five minutes, Paul caught up with him. With him. Let's meet for coffee soon. I want to catch up on your news. So many things have been happening in your family. I want to catch up on what's new. We talked for two hours and finally caught up. So on each other's news. There's Annie. Can you run fast enough to catch up with her? Okay. So. To be on my way, on your way, you know, on the way, okay? 
So on my way, on the way, on her way to, on the way to, on, on her way to. Okay. So you're on the process of coming, going somewhere. So the best is, you know, a picture is worth 1000 words. So like I'm on my way to the city. Uh, the turtle is out of the way of the, the path. Okay. Or, you know, it's too far. Uh, you're on the way. I cannot, I cannot, uh, run fast enough. Okay. So where are you? I'm on my way home. I'm on the way home. Both are fine. Hi, this is Heather. Is Molly there? No, sorry, Heather. She just left. She's on her way to your house. She's on the way to your house. To be out of my, your, etc. way, to be, to be out of the way. So we can use a possessive or we can just use the. Be in a direction that someone is not going. To be on my way or to be, no, to be on somebody's way. You are, you are in my way or in the way. To be in someone's path so she or he can't easily see something or go somewhere. I can't stop at the store before I pick you up. No, no, don't. The store is out of your way and we don't have time. I can't see the movie. That tall guy's head is in my way or in the way. It's too big. Okay. And here you can, uh, let me check uh, the transcript. It's like uh, page 102. 102. Let me see if I can find it. Lesson six. Okay. I have a story to tell you. What a day I had. Well, I was on my way to the bus stop after class when I fell down in the hallway. I hurt my leg and someone called an ambulance, ambulance because I couldn't get up or walk. A lot of students were standing in a circle around me, and I was really nervous and in pain. When the paramedics came, they told everyone to move because they were in the way. I felt very important. The good news was, every time news, we don't say the good news, the good news was that the paramedics told me that my leg wasn't broken and they helped me get up. Wow, did it hurt. Luckily, one of my classmates offered to drive me home. I thanked him and told him it was out of his way because we live on opposite sides of town. But he told me that he was happy to drive me home. On our head to, way to my place, I sat in the back seat of the car so I could put my leg on the seat. It really hurt. But the good thing is that now my classmate is my new friend. So you see, when you wake up in the morning, you never know what will happen. And if something bad happens, sometimes something good happen, can happen too, right? Yeah. So, just coming back to this. And uh, so this is what we just did. Uh, you, it's fine. Uh, it's not really too... You know, we understand, we see the transcript. I would say, you know, it's better to pay attention to the expressions from the transcript. Okay. Next time, we're going to talk about to keep someone busy with something. Like it's the case with my daughter. I have to keep her busy. Right now, she's uh, using a bicycle. She's riding a bicycle with her dad. She's learning how to use a bicycle without the, the help on the side. Not easy. And uh, so to keep somebody or someone busy with something. Okay, believe it or not, keep be kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. We may have to do one more expression. So anyway, uh, I'll see if I can send you more dialogues. I'll see that I, it's not it's not easy to find good dialogues nowadays because they make so many mistakes. But we can come back to there is a book we we're using before. It can be good. Let me see if I can find it again. Okay. You have an excellent day. I'll see you tomorrow at 9. And uh, take care. Stay safe. And uh, don't take any risks. Okay. Bye-bye. And see you tomorrow.